Thank you for staying with us. Yeah. And it's mm -hmm. time to check out what's up and about in town. It's all about the Olympics, the spirit. Mm -hmm. uh, that's uh, what's been trending. And of course, uh, there is a discussion which we started, which we spoke about Naomi, Naomi Osaka. Okay. But before we go into that, there was something you read in Sports News that got me confused. So okay. if Kodri Haruna um, lost his game, why does that make everybody else not be able to play? No, no, they've already lost. He was oh, the last, already, oh, last okay, man okay, standing. Okay, I was confused. And he was also the captain of um, the, the, the Olympic team, the whole mm. Nigerian team. Wow. So it was last man standing and all of that. And that's why I put up a post yesterday and they said something like, how the Nigerian officials are telling us to pray, pray yes. that so the Olympic team should do, should do well. I'm like, how? Don't pray. That this is the Olympics, well, But man. emotionally, when you see some of your teammates are no longer allowed to compete, it's going to definitely affect your emotions. And, but it could be either negative or positive. positive. So like, you want to help them and make sure that the team, you know, you take one for the team, um, so or to speak. Or just go home. <laughs> so you see, now that yeah. is actually the main point of what we're talking about. Uh, Simon Biles, Simon Biles, mm -hmm. Simon Biles, she is arguably the GOAT when it comes to gymnastics. Mm. Yeah. She, at, at the last Olympics, she won four gold medals and I think uh, one, is it silver or bronze? She had five medals and she was, her plan was to get five golds this Olympic. Team USA had gotten into the five finals. There's a team finals and then there are individual finals. finals. At the team finals, this is what happened. She went up first. She scored her lowest ever point. Mm -hmm. Ever wow. point. I think it was about 13 points. Mm -hmm. And with that, it was impossible, almost impossible for the U.S. team to pick gold okay. after scoring that low. She, had, uh, she was on the vault, and she had this, uh, her land. After um, it was a double half twist, she had to do two, and then her land was terrible. It was very yeah. bad. And then she landed wrongly, and poof. Auntie decided to pull out. Hmm. And she said that it was because of her mental health. And then the remaining me me members of the team, the best they could do was silver, which they tried to fight for. Yeah. And um, uh, Russia Olympic Committee, uh, uh, to two gold, and then she came silver. And then so on both sides of the retort, there's been talk. So people said, um, you know, hailing her like, hey, come, Biles, you are a... You're a strong woman. You're a champion for yeah. doing that, for quitting on your team. Yeah. And number people are saying that, no, you are supposed to be the, the captain model, of the team, yeah. the role model. Yeah. You should not quit. And on both sides, it's just been going back and forth, yeah. back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. It's quite hard to choose a side to stand on because if you're saying as the captain of the team, you shouldn't quit on your team because, I mean, if the captain quits, then the motivation for the rest is going to be quite hard. Yeah. But also, mental health is something that is so important. And we do not know what, what preceded the game. Maybe she... She was in a space that was not was not sound yeah. and may have just made her um, just not function at her best. And you know, you, when we were talking about it yesterday. You did say, is, is everybody going to use mental health as, as an excuse? Now, people might use my, mental health as, as an excuse. It might be an excuse. It might be true, but we can't say. But because of the responsibility that has been laid on you to be the captain, sometimes you just have to compromise. Yeah, mm. you just I, have to I, I feel like um, pushing things to mental health every single time sort of become, it becomes coddling. Um, mm. These guys mm. have trained and trained from childhood, some from three, five years old. Mm -hmm. mm. And they're really hard, they're hardened. Their parents, mm -hmm. their trainers have hardened them. And then they finally get to a particular place where they're supposed to get to the pinnacle and then you just really bow out? Mm, I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. um, the, with COVID and everything, there was a long time, time yeah. for them to either train to get better or get but lax. Now, yeah. mm. There's so much so about this. So many different There's opinions. so much about this mm. that came forward. Piers Morgan had a very strong, yeah. had a very interesting column which I read. He, of course, criticized Bells entirely. So it was yeah. like, look, you failed. Don't, yeah. don't, don't give up and all of that. And then, so I like that, bo that both of you really said, okay, it could be a bit of both. Yeah. You know, it could be a bit of both. I'm not too very sure. Mm -hmm. But you see, I found out that with this issue of mental health and all, I found out that it's very, how do I put it now? It's partisan. Mm. Why do I say it's partisan? When Piers Morgan takes a stance, yeah. the Chelsea handler will just go against that stance. Okay. That's what's happened. Okay, I Ellen get that. Ellen DeGeneres and Chelsea mm. handler were like, oh, wow. Mm. Uh, you know, they yeah. were there yeah, for mental yeah, health. Like, a, lot, so a lot of athletes have also supported Biles. But then Piers Morgan goes opposite. And then a number of people, just because it's Piers Morgan. They, they go against they it. They go against it. Yeah. So, and then he goes like, okay, so if he was a Cristiano Ronaldo who was mm. about to go mm. on the pitch, mm. would he have the same, would we look at him the same way? The same way. Yeah. So the truth is, you have um, someone who feels they're going to lose. If it was your child, what would you tell them to do? Keep going. Keep pushing. Yeah. If you're a proper coach, you keep pushing them. Keep going. Keep going. You don't coddle them and say, oh, 
Oh, Since your mental feel like health. You're going to lose. Mm, let's just eh, let's bow out. There. Let's try and save face. That's mm. what it feels like a PR kind of thing, trying yeah. to save face. You've got so many great uh, mm -hmm. accolades before now. Let's bow out before you lose all of them to mm. someone else. Mm -hmm. uh, this uh, is there's quite a lot. There, yeah. There's a few things I wanted to say. Maybe we might touch a bit more on it because we have to go now. I wish we had more time. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Okay. All right. That's it. Let's know your thoughts on um, the whole mental health issue, Simon mm. Biles, Naomi Osaka, and all of that. What? Do you think? Uh, what do you think? Let's know. Um, hit us up on social media. Use the hashtag Wake Up Nigeria on TV. So you might take your comments tomorrow. That's it on What's Up and About. We'll yeah. take this time out now. Quite a lot more to come.